Hey everyone, this is Bremster back with another In My Sudoku Problem series. This is a sandwich problem submitted by Dying Flutchman, and thank you Dying Flutchman for submitting this one. I really appreciate it when I get a, a setter um, submitting one of these. I've got quite a few in the backlog that I need to work through, but We'll see how long it takes me. So this is a sandwich problem, as I said. So the goal of this one, of course, is to place a the digit in the cell marked with an X. That's the only one you need to figure out. The rules for this one, haven't done sandwich before. So um, yeah, the rules, the um, clues outside the grid are the sum of the digits that are placed between one and nine in their respective row and column. Um, so it is the standard sandwich rules. There's nothing weird going on with this one. So uh, hopefully you've seen this one before. There will be a link to the problem below um, and uh, yeah, give it a try and I will feel free to pause the video and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so the trick with this one is to think about how you can place, not, oh, not just how you can place 30 in a sandwich, but what you need to do in order to make that work. Because with, um, a normal row of a Sudoku, all of the digits from one to nine add to 45. But because the one and the nine are going to be effectively the crusts of the sandwich, um, those aren't included in the totals that you can use to make up the digits inside the sandwich. So what you end up with taking one and nine from 45, you end up with 35. So what we're going to have outside these this sandwich clue are digits summing to five. 35 minus 30. So we need five left outside of the one and the nine. Now, there are only two ways of making up five if you can not if you can only use the digits two to eight. You can either use a five on its own or you can use two and three. So we need to either have a five here, a two and a three here, or a five here because um, you can't use two, three here because of the two and the three in the box. So if we had five here, the one and the nine would have to be here. So this would be a one or a nine. If we had two, three here, this would still have to be the one and the nine here. So this would be a one or a nine. And if this was a five here, then the one and the nine would be here and this would be the five. So this is either a one, a five or a nine. But if we look at this 30 clue, if this is a one or a nine, the biggest I could make this clue would be three cells. And the most you can put into three cells using only two to eight is 20 is, is what is it? Uh, I've got to do the math again. Uh, eight, seven, six is 21, is 21. So I can't get to 30. So if I put a one nine here, this 30 clue is broken. This becomes the five. And that is the solution to this sandwich problem. I probably went a bit long-winded in explaining this one, but if you've never seen Sandwich before, this could be a little bit tricky, and I wanted to make sure that I covered all of the concepts. Um, and I probably still missed some. Hopefully you're enjoying the series and the way um, that I'm trying to present all of these. Um, hopefully you were able to figure this one out. Um, thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.